We're about to test the most viral gadget on TikTok to find out if lots of views actually mean something is good. Okay, let's watch some TikToks. Starting with 120,000 views, so you go onto Amazon, you get a piece of acrylic, you stick it on your exercise bike. I have some doubts about the stability. I can't believe how much this thing costed. I thought it was gonna be $10, it's 60. So we've got two very satisfying looking peels to pull off here. Ah, uh, that was better than any phone peel I've ever experienced. <sighs> very appealing. That was appalling. <laughs> Okay, it's on. It's actually scraped a little bit of the material away, which is not a great start. So to be fair, it does allow me to accomplish the core task of using my laptop while I'm exercising. It's just a little bit wobbly and also doesn't quite come out close enough to be comfortable for me to perch on. But I'd say this is a five out of 10 for the price. So moving all the way up to 300,000 views right now. It's a bin for your smartphone. So it's saying that this right here, Whoosh, is the official screen cleaning fluid that Apple uses to keep their store models as shiny as possible. I'm not gonna lie, the side by side is a little bit sus. Well, it looks nice and premium, and it does come with a microfiber cloth in the box, which is always nice. All right, so let's just say you have a dirty phone, like a very, very dirty phone. I really like the fact that this is proper industrial sized equipment. Like this is a 500 mil bottle of fluid. Okay, all right, let's do the honors. Oh. <laughs> Takes a second to get warmed up. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Not actually colorless like I was expecting. The fluid itself already kind of looks a bit dirty. The sacred swipe. That's very good, actually. So literally within two strokes of the cloth, that is what it looks like. Wow. I think I have to give this a nine out of 10. The only real downside being that it does kind of cause a bit of a mess. So apparently this gadget solves your wardrobe space problems. So it's like two hooks that can actually support six different pieces of clothing. Does that actually save space? This is definitely one of the stranger products that's arrived at my doorstep. Okay, so this is what five shirts would normally look like using traditional hangers. But then with this contraption, it gives you a slot to hang each of these shirts individually into. So far, it actually takes up about three times the space. The only reason this exists though is for you to then be able to take that hook off. Ooh, that saves you a ton of horror horizontal space. Let me explain. So when you unhook the storage solution, the compression of the hanging device reduces the cubic volume of air between each shirt by a factor of 3.5. The garments do now rest 20% lower, so they take up more vertical space, but it means that the overall volume of the shirts in storage is scaled down to less than a half of what they originally began with. Or in other words, nine out of 10. <laughs> Some of my favorite home finds lately. Oh, that's cool. It's like a vertical waffle maker. That's quite a good idea. So this is like a cocktail glass that constantly stirs your drinks and then keeps telling you the next thing you have to put in. It does seem like a cool way to make a cocktail. Does the fact that it's constantly mixing actually help you with something? Oh, this is really doing it for me. Anything involving brightly colored cocktails, sign me up. So you get a glass, you get a base. It feels a little bit cheap and cheerful, but I'm enjoying it. And then here's what the TikTok was really excited about. It comes with an app that tells you exactly what to put in to make the drinks you want to make. So you find a drink you like the look of and you click craft. Oh god, Bluetooth connection issues to my glass. <laughs> this is how you know it's 2023. So it says place glass, it's spinning. So it's telling me pour lemonade until the coaster turns green. <gasps> it's filling up on the side. <laughs> that is actually so cool. And now it's changed to add ginger ale. It is a little sad looking. It's not like you actually need to stir lemonade on its own. We will follow the recipe. Pouring complete, remove glass and enjoy. Tastes like lemonade and ginger ale. Caressed with a stirrer is probably how I describe it. To be fair, it is mixed well. There's no sign of separation, but I just don't see myself using this. Hey, 500,000 views. Let's have a look. What are you doing with that flower, buddy? A soda can pump. Are you pumping air back into it? I swear that's not how it works. It looks like he's giving the can CPR. Well, I have to say, nothing about the packaging or the appearance of this thing inspires confidence. Right, so this is not what I thought it was. It's not designed to be able to pump fizz back into your flat drink. It's just designed to stop your drink going flat in the first place. So we all know that as soon as you've opened a can or a bottle of fizzy drink, you just need to leave it for like a couple of days and all the fizziness just disappears. So the base ring snaps onto the can. You close the pump cap. It's actually created a proper seal that has. And then the idea is that by pressing this pump down, we're drawing all the last bits of air that are in the can out of the can. It's basically created a tiny vacuum at the top, which stops further carbon dioxide from inside the drink from leaving. We will come back to this in three days to see if it's worked. Okay. It's been exactly three days since I put this in the fridge. That was a reassuring pop. 
and it's still completely fizzy. Congratulations, TikTok. So it's some kind of slicer. You stick whatever you're slicing inside and you just bring the blade down. Wow, and it's sliced. I'm cautiously optimistic about this one. I think the perfectionist inside of me is relishing the idea of perfectly sliced veggies every single time. This is very exciting. So we chuck some small vegetables in. Now I guess this is just gonna go down and slice them. It feels like some sort of medieval torture device. We're definitely sliced. Uh, um. So the way this is going to work is if you manage to get a vegetable that perfectly fills the inner chamber, then this will completely cut it right down the middle. But because in reality that's never really going to happen, most of the time you're going to end up with slices that look a bit more like that. Potentially saves you a little bit of time though, so 6 out of 10. Wait, it says milk dispenser. Why is your milk green? Whoa. So this gadget converts apparently AAA batteries into AA batteries. Okay. I mean, they come in a bag. Okay, genuine real life situation here. I wanted to boot up my Game Boy Color, but I could not find any AA batteries at all in the house. But in theory, these cases should allow me to use AAAs. Oh, they feel really nice and high quality. Flat end of the battery goes into flat end of the case, and likewise for the top. That could not be simpler to understand. <laughs> Time to slip it in. Okay, so they perfectly fit in the space made for AA batteries, and yes! It really does work, which I guess makes that the first 10 out of 10. It does everything you want it to do. All right, we're past the 1 million view mark now. So it's like a Bluetooth speaker, but it attaches to your shower head. And then when water comes through, it spins a turbine which charges the speaker. It can track water usage, tell you the temperature. I mean, if that lives up to what the video is saying, that would be an instant recommend. Now, videos like this really make you realize the variety of stuff that exists now, thanks to the internet. Oh, this is cool. It's something that actually does look like a capable piece of equipment, which I guess Yes, you'd expect. It's $120. This thing is such a beast. But to be fair, it does still leave space to hold your handle. Let's see if it's affected the shower pressure. So we are having a little bit of drippage down here at the bottom, but to be fair, most of the water pressure is preserved. Check this out. It shows you the temperature of the water at any given time. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with this information, but it does also tell you your estimated flow rate. What does party mode do? It's not the crispest, most accurate sound ever, but it's very, very punchy. It makes you want to dance in the shower. But the reason to use something like this is the simple fact that you just don't have to think about it. You would just walk into the bathroom, your phone would auto-connect via Bluetooth, and it will always be charged. Bubble spa mat. That looks like a lot of options. Oh, he's having the time of his life. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not incredibly excited by this. Okay, so the mat is set up. It does span the entire bath, which is very nice. One thing I don't like is the fact that it does create almost like a, an industrial piping situation. Because you've got this massive pipe, which then has to plug into the bubble generating machine over here, which in itself has to plug into the mains. Oh my God, it is so loud. I mean, imagine you're having just like a nice romantic night in and then you just got that thing roaring in your corner. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh, it's actually really, really nice. Oh, I kind of like it. I feel relaxed just standing in it. Oh, if it wasn't for this noise, I would genuinely give this like a nine out of 10, but you're just not going to be able to relax with the sound of someone vacuuming right next to your face. They're labeling this one as the best Amazon purchase of my life. Okay, massive onion, can't cut it with a normal knife. So the veggie chop comes in, right? Okay, so you load up the onions. Oh, you crank it by hand. That looks like a nightmare to clean. But I do love automating tasks. Why does this seem like such an as seen on daytime TV kind of product? I felt slightly let down by the slicer from earlier. I'm hoping this is the solution. And then the top of this slicer basically connects to the lid of the container like an Allen key. You know the feeling when you feel like you're about to get satisfaction? That time is now. Oh my God. That actually works so well. Oh, I didn't want to believe, but easy nine out of 10. We have just destroyed that Apple. But Apple is currently destroying us in subscribe account. So I set it as a mission for us to overtake them. And if we do, I will personally build the largest, most powerful iPhone myself. So a sub to the channel would be... Choptimal. Over 3 million views for the nasal irrigation system. So this is meant to flush your sinuses, I guess. Whoa, he, he does not look happy. I feel like I'm watching like a, an exorcism. <laughs> he got his kid's hand on his shoulder like, there, there, it's okay, dad. Poor guy. There's like a concerned dog in the corner as well. Is this meant to make me want to do this? I mean, after that demo, this is about the least excited I've ever been to test a product. I really can't express how unexcited I am for this. <laughs> this nasal rinse mix. <laughs> oh, to be fair, it says content sodium chloride. So basically, this is salt. Can't believe all of this is going up my nose. 
Oh, oh. So the salt is there as an antiseptic to clear the insides of your sinuses. And I guess the idea is that this is gonna spray water at high pressure to clear everything out. Ah! Oh God, that feels horrible. It's coming out of the other nostril. Wow. After the initial surprise, it's uh, starting to feel quite pleasant. Wow. My nose feels so clear. I have allergies all the time, so my nose is constantly half blocked, but it feels like my first clear breath in a very long time. I might actually voluntarily use this again. Eight out of 10. Oh, it's like a self-heating cooking pot. So you can cook while in bed watching Netflix. I can't tell if this is genius or really, really dumb. I guess they're trying to frame this as the no need to leave your bed anymore cooking solution, which I'd be lying if I said I wasn't fascinated to experience. <laughs> Being able to film videos in bed, this is great. So one very immediate red flag, this is not even long enough to reach your floor. Bombay bad boy, what a flavor. I feel like I'm back at university again. <laughs> Add some hot sauce. And I guess just water. Okay, so the heater is really powerful, but if anything, that actually concerns me slightly more. The outside is all plastic though, so you don't feel how hot it actually is. Okay, here's the thing. This product does do exactly what it says on the tin, but why would you want to do that? Why do you want to cook something at 200 degrees C on your lap? You still need to leave your bed to go get cutlery. You still need to go get water from the tap. At that point, why not just go cook it downstairs and then bring it up? Like it's definitely getting really hot. This will cook whatever you put inside of it. Oh, it smells so good. Especially after the nasal irrigation. I mean, look at me right now. This is not a scene that should exist. Three out of 10. We're at five million views now. Wait, this person's putting some sort of like berry puree into the top. That then gets released into the face mask. That can't be it. There's gotta be a next step here. What does that do? It looks very cursed. Man, I feel like I need to get this, the bath jacuzzi and the cocktail mixer all together. That is one hell of a night in. Right. Let's pretend this isn't something straight out of your worst nightmare. So that slips under there. So I spent the last five minutes pureeing an old fruit salad into this. There's so many instructions. So the water logo is flashing, which means 60 mils of water in there. Oh, it actually beeps to tell you when to stop. Okay, 20 mil of juice. And now I'm meant to add... Wait, what? Am I actually about to experience pills off TikTok? Oh, it does actually say, warning, do not eat. This is not food. Very satisfying. You can see that it's in the process of making the mask. So let's uh, come back to it when it's done. Right, the laziest thing I've ever ordered from Amazon. It definitely is a trend here. Short video remote controller. I know what this is gonna do. You wear it as a ring. So the entire purpose of this device is just being able to wirelessly scroll your feeds. I kind of hate that this exists but we are where we are. You know, with this thing, what scares me a lot more than potentially finding out that I don't like it is finding out that I actually really do. Okay, so I guess the situation here is I've just finished my in-bed pot noodles. I'm very satisfied and now it's time to get into bed and to watch some TikToks. If you're watching TikToks like this, you want to go to the next TikTok. You just tap the next button and it's the next TikTok. <laughs> hey, there's a very slight delay because it's Bluetooth, but there's no swipe transition at all. It's just you click and it goes. But then also, when you want to pause, you tap the middle button. Oh, it's definitely one of those gadgets that's really well executed. I would actually tell myself not to use this. Is that guy cleaning the outside from the inside? That's not right. I am a bit confused. Oh, it's like a specific magnetic double-sided window cleaner. That we have to try. Wow, this thing is really heavy. And the magnet that connects the two separate parts of it, incredibly strong. Like you actually have to be very careful not to get your fingers in between these. But I guess it makes sense because the magnets have got to be strong enough to attach from the other side of the glass. I just wipe <laughs> and it does both sides at once. I mean, it's incredibly cool, but can you see how tenuous the magnetic connection is? Like the other one is ready to fall any second. Oh. Oh my God. I mean, that's just broken. So this is a great idea, but only if you have single glazing. I can't give it more than like a four. Right, we'll be on six million views. This device stops you from using your mobile phone. Why is this a thing? <laughs> you can still take emergency calls, good. I find it so funny that one of the, the top cool Amazon gadgets is a gadget that stops you using your gadgets. This is actually a little more advanced than I was expecting. I assumed this would just be a one-time use fun gimmick, but it does seem surprisingly well thought out. Okay, so you open it up, you stick your phone inside, you close the door, you click the lock button, and then this allows you to set the time that you want to lock it for. 
So there is a screen protector that you can take off here. It allows you to touch your phone in very specific places. So I guess that would either be to tap some notifications or to answer a call. It's still allowing you to use your phone. It's just making it wildly inconvenient to do so. At this point, it's literally just world's dumbest case. I can literally just fully play a game while it's in this case. If there's ever a bit of a screen you can't reach, now you can. I'm giving this like a two. What are you doing to this banana? This looks like a horrific form of surgery. Poor thing. It's like coring the inside of a banana to be able to fill it with something else. What in God's name? Why does it look so inappropriate? God. Think innocent things. Think innocent things. Like, this is absolutely the most sus gadget so far. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fun. I am a massive banana man. And I do actually eat banana with Nutella anyways. Right, so it says start by cutting off the tip. There's a lot of banana straightening in the instructions there. Straighten the banana by putting the cut end into the holder. Oh, okay, and then you straighten the banana like this. No way. I don't think I've ever seen a straightened banana in my life. So then, you've got the cora. So this is gonna go through the middle of the banana and hopefully take out the inside. In we go. Okay, so you keep pushing, 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 pushing. Oh, I don't wanna break it. And now at that point, I'm gonna twist to break the core on the inside of the banana put my thumb over and pull out to use suction to hopefully pull it out. I think it worked. This is what we pulled out. Have you ever seen that before? So now we load up the hopper. This is gonna get messy, I can just tell. Okay, so now we slide the banana in, slowly and carefully. As soon as I do this, it's gonna fill it right up. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. Oh wow. So it doesn't quite fill it up to the very, very end. So it's a little messy on this side, but I'm assuming if we now open it from here, you still have a clean, full looking banana that once you slice, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. Mm, and the proportion is just right. It was a hassle to get there, and I'm so glad we got there. POV, you're in a rush and you want to bring breakfast with you. It's just about to show us some sort of alternative way of doing it. Crunch cup. So it's got a separate compartment for the milk and the cereal, but it allows you to have both at the same time while keeping the cereal crunchy. I mean, this guy looks happy. Okay, we all know that cereal is just an elite tier snack. And so a tool that's claiming it can perfect the cereal eating experience, you know, this thing has a very high ceiling. Okay, so we get some milk into here. It doesn't feel like a large amount of cereal, I have to say. So the cereal connects straight into the lid. I'm slightly scared this is gonna spill everywhere, but then I think you just lower that. That is a weirdly perfect fit. So I've got full access now to both my cereal on the inside and my milk through this little slit here. I'm just now realizing this is for all those people who put the cereal in last. I'm just drinking milk. Mm. <clears throat> I got my first Choco Pop. And we are probably 60% done with the milk. It's just easier for the milk to come out than the cereal to come out. Cereal was designed to be eaten a certain way for a reason. Spiral candles are my new thing. I am actually low key a bit of a candle sucker. <laughs> oh, so the wick is spiraling all the way around the outside. And then once that's completely burned, the wax melts into the middle, which then allows it to be reused as a normal candle. Almost every single product that comes to me, I usually have like a gut instinct of whether it's gonna be good or not. I have absolutely no clue here. So apparently this is linen fresh. Oh, and you can see the wick going all the way around on the inside. It's so much better use of the space inside a candle, as opposed to just having one in the middle that goes down. So the wax in a candle is used as a fuel to keep the wick burning. There's actually less wax here than in a normal candle, but the shape of it allows it to use the wax it does have more efficiently. You can already see the melted wax trickling down into the center. Okay, so it's only actually burned for a total of six hours, which is much less long than I was expecting. However, it's reached a very nice looking stage too. So I would say this is a really nice novelty, but it doesn't completely change the game for candles or anything. So eight out of 10. Okay, so we're in the 10 million view plus category now. A smart lock for your door that allows you to set a combination passcode. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Okay, this is right up our alley. We have to test this. Man, can you believe this thing was over $100? That is not cheap for a door handle. Okay, it's finally installed. This is one fiddly piece of equipment. And I will say straight off the bat, there's a couple of things I don't like about it. When you pull the handle down, it doesn't automatically snap up. I would quite like it to just return to that position. The LEDs on the inside feel pretty cheap. Like they don't fully light up each of the numbers, but it does at least quite well serve the function it's intended for of being able to password lock your door or hey, even fingerprint unlock. Like that. 
Why did I set it up in the bathroom there? I'll give it a six. I'm never buying from a small TikTok business ever again. It's with some sort of box. It has a bit of 3M tape on the back. You take that off, you stick it on your wall next to your door, and it can apparently turn your door into an automatic closing door to save you the vast effort of having to close the door yourself. A little optimizations, eh? That was a 20 million view TikTok. If this actually works, it could be a really powerful combo when paired with the fingerprint door handle. Okay, so through here, and we essentially want to attach this box just next to the door. And then the hook that it latches onto is gonna go at the same height, but on the door itself. And then, all being well, once this is latched onto this, it's gonna create a strong enough pulling force that this door will now automatically close. Oh my goodness. Gotta say, the mechanism does make me slightly uneasy in case at any point this, say, flies off the wall and smacks you in the face. But it does seem like they've thought of that and this is stuck on very, very securely. And my favorite part of this is that it closes with enough force to be able to actually latch the handle of the door on its way out. This has over 65 million views. Looks like I'm watching an alien abduction. So it's a robot that secures itself onto a jar and unscrews it for you. I'd be interested to see if it's powerful enough to unscrew ones that even I get stuck on. $20 is what this was. Probably one of the cheapest robots you can get. Okay, I have a jar, which uh, conventional means may struggle to open. So if I'm not mistaken, you place the robot on top and then press this button. I guess I hold it down. It's uh, tightening its grip and the secondary hands are coming in to hold the glass itself straight. This is wild. Oh man. Tech is cool sometimes. It's a little niche to give it a 10, but it does do exactly what it says on the, the jar. Nine out of 10. Okay, I think we're done. There's a little suction button here, which is meant to pick up any excess liquid. We've tried so many questionable things this video. It's really hard to know, especially on TikTok, what's actually legitimate and what's not. Speaking of which, I don't know if you've noticed this as well, but the number of spam phishing emails that I've been getting has literally gone through the roof recently. I've literally been getting over 200 emails every single day, and only like 20 are actually from legitimate sources. And it's not like if you click the links in these, you waste five seconds of your life and you can just carry on with your day. Some of these links can very literally gain access to your entire machine, your accounts, every bit of data you own by silently downloading files without you even realizing. Oh God, it's so gloopy. Hundreds of even YouTubers with proper two-factor authentication have had their accounts hacked with this exact method. So Guardio is a tool that I've started using recently to combat that. And while I add this layer of protection to my face, let me tell you how to do the same with your accounts. It's a browser extension that once installed will first do an initial scan. It'll show you what threats you already have. And once you start your seven day trial, it will remove them. I think I'm gonna make myself comfortable. Like you can with Guardio. It's like a digital shield that looks over you seamlessly in the background. It scans all links before you click them. It scans all files before you download them. It traces the sources of all the intrusive notifications you're getting to make sure they're not actually coming from viruses and can clear them from the source. We're in a time where scammers are reinventing themselves every single day and genuine malware exists in very legitimate places like Facebook ads and Google ads. So Guardio will help you get your security up to scratch. They're now offering us a free seven day trial as well as a 20% discount off the already quite affordable price, especially considering that one account covers five separate users. And that'll auto apply if you head to guard.io slash boss.